move on to that is problem number 33 this can be for a 10 marks question the problem is having the following information the market information regarding the following stocks is given in a table so stock A, stock R and stock G is given we have an alpha value we have beta value and E i square is nothing but unsystematic risk. So by looking at the symbol we have to know what it signifies. So this is unsystematic risk. Beta formula, uh, alpha formula this one. So we have to identify from that what is given there in the problem. Question A and B are there in the sub questions. A goes like this. If the market index is expected to have a return of 0 0.20 so market index is expected to have a return of 0 0.20 so expected market return is equal to rm the symbol you have to create by reading the problem you should be able to identify what is required what is given so expected market return is rm that is 0 0.20 continue with that and a variance of 0 0.20 so variance is connected to market itself you read a sentence you will understand one is connected to market return other one is connected to market variance another name for that is called variance of index that is BSC, NSC like that so variance of index that is the symbol standard deviation square of market that is M is equal to 0 0.20 so this is the one you have to identify without identifying this we cannot go further so there is a question which single stock would the investor prefer to own from the risk and return point of view so which stock an investor prefers A or R or G which one the investor prefer here they are not told what to calculate which method to adopt but from the question we have to understand the risk and return point of view that's all is given so an investor will look into always the total risk not only systematic risk and also the unsystematic risk so for that we will go for that one by one what is not given in the problem is return so first let us identify the return then let us go for the risk calculation so I will go for return calculation of each stock A, R and G I will get a formula for return of individual portfolio or individual stock or individual stock that is alpha plus beta into Rm so if I substitute the values for A alpha is 0 0.05 plus beta is 1.6 Rm is given here 0.20 so when you are simplifying you have to be very careful 1.6 into 0 0.20 first we have to arrive at then we have to go for the minus value this will be plus another one will be minus so we have to be carefully calculating it the value comes to 0.27 next for the second one second stop R alpha is 0.08 beta is in minus we have to be careful here and rm remains the same so here when you multiply minus 0.3 into 0.20 it will be minus value so from that 0.08 minus we have to do this value you are going to get 0.02 next for the G 0 0.00 alpha beta is 1.1 RM is 0 0.20 so 1.1 into 0 0.2 that is 0 0.22 so from this you can see which one is having the highest return if you can see here that 0 0.27 is the highest So that is going to be the one 
the investor will select since return of stock A is higher it can be selected by the investor so based on the return the investor can select the stock A so that is because of the highest value compared to other two values so based on return conclusion is given the next one is based on the risk so risk here is the total risk we are going to calculate here systematic risk plus unsystematic risk unsystematic risk is given here in the problem itself so i have substituted the unsystematic risk value ei square but systematic risk value i don't have for that i have to go for a calculation over here as a working calculation of systematic risk the formula goes like this beta square into the variance of index so i have to substitute this value i have to make it to the total risk calculation then whichever is the least risk the investor has to invest there return wise highest risk wise lowest should be the risk to invest in any of the stocks so let me go for systematic risk calculation beta square for a 1.6 square multiplied by the index of market 0.20 so 1.6 square you have to find a value then you have to multiply it with 0.20 So zero point five one two. Similarly for the next one, minus zero point three square multiplied by zero point two zero. So when you square it, minus into minus becomes plus. Then that value multiplied is zero point two zero, zero point zero one eight. Next for the last one, one point one square multiplied by zero point two zero. So the value of that will be zero point two four two. So these are the values of systematic risk. I have to take this over here for calculation of uh, total risk, and then I have to find which is having the lowest risk. remember total risk is always systematic risk plus unsystematic risk if i add 0.552 second one 0.018 0.342 so as i told the risk wise the least one but here for the Return by it should be highest one, so least one should be selected. So according to this, R is the least. So conclusion for this will be since risk is less in stock R. the investor can reduce the risk by investing in this stock so less least risk is in stock or so i can make it as least the risk the since the risk is least in stock or the investor can reduce the risk by investing in this particular stock
So this is part A question and part B question we have one more. So read that carefully to understand. So if you don't write all these conclusions, you will not get full marks, you will only calculating, but you are not giving the answer. The evaluator will expect the answers from you, not just the calculations. So you have to understand in this risk is what formula, return is which formula, then we have to work. Coming to the question B, interpret the EI square value and the alpha value of R stock, stock R. So let me go to the R stock. I have here 0 0.00 and alpha as 0 0.08. I am supposed to interpret this now. So if there is a zero value in unsystematic risk, so what it implies and if it is 0 0.08 in alpha, what it indicates. So let me give the answer here. So the zero value of EA square in stock R implies that the unsystematic risk is nil in that stock. So unsystematic risk is not at all there in uh, stock R. So investor can prefer it very easy way. Next, alpha is equal to 0 0.08 means that when market return is zero stock or return is eight percent so even though market return is zero, the stock R will be 8% return. So definitely the investor can look into stock R and he can invest in stock R. Even though market is not doing good, the stock R will definitely do good. So this is going to tell that the stock R is having a less risk, stock R is having a no unsystematic risk. And stock R is the best even though market is not doing good. So return wise it looks A is good but risk wise it looks R is more good and the deciding factor will be based on the investor's perception whether you want to go for return basis or risk basis before he invest the money in any of the stocks.